It's been 35 years, believe it or not, since The Sound of Music hit the big screen. Since then, it's gone on to become the second highest grossing movie musical of all time. Now, just in time for its anniversary, the film is being re-released, but with a new twist. NBC's Bob Dotson reports. Ray, a drop of goats, uh, she was Let's start at the very beginning. Um, I'm Maria. <laughs> it's a very good place to start. I'm a nun. <laughs> Some friends got together the other day in London, dressed up as a few of... My favorite things! Here's Ray, a drop of golden sun. I am supposed to be a brown paper package tied up in string. They just love that old Julie Andrews movie. Have sung. You know, the one you see on TV all the time. Don't With the cute kids, so. the nuns, and the nasty Nazis. Hi, Hitler. Do I look nasty? The party was such fun, producers decided to slap subtitles on the sound of music and see if people would pay 20 bucks a pop for a chance to sing along. The audience love it in a way that I've never seen them respond to another show. Um, it sells out in every city that we play in. She climbs a tree and scrapes her knee. Her dress has gone. Perhaps because the characters come down off the screen and sit next to you. Tonight, that sing-along sound of music premieres in New York City. What do you get for your 20 bucks? An MC that works the crowd. All right, let's get everyone together. Oh, look, there's the Baroness in her red dress. A costume contest. This is fabulous. Did you get this in Austria? No, I got it at Halloween Adventure in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Folks who don't come in costume are encouraged to join in anyway. They each get a starter kit before the show with party poppers, with Edelweiss to wave, and a party invitation to the captain's ball. Not since church have so many strangers huddled together to sing with such fervor. So, amigo police friend. It recalls the success of the Rocky Horror Show, a movie spoof that developed a huge cult following. But Sing Along Sound of Music appeals to a much broader audience. A three-year-old can watch it with a 10-year-old, with a 20-year-old, with a 30-year-old, with a 50-year-old, and everybody enjoys it, and everybody loves it, and everybody sings along. You skipped the 40-year-old, thank you. Uh, sorry. You wait, little girl, on an empty stage for fate to turn the light on. Your life, little girl, is an empty page. When we'll want to write on. To What do the people who made the movie think of all this? Charmian Carr played... Lisa! I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. The Oscar-winning musical remains one of the most popular films of all time. It's earned nearly $300 million, most of them 35 years ago, when tickets were two bucks. If this new sing-along version draws big crowds in New York, the rest of the country may get to see it too. Then all those songs we hear in elevators and showers will be back up on the big screen once again, where they belong. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, New York. Looks like our living room when we watch that movie. How I love great this is idea. that? Yeah. Now, you've never seen the I've movie? I've never seen the movie. I've seen the play, but not the movie. I've never seen it in completion, so why don't we go 
and we'll sing. You do the nun, I'll do the leader hose. Oh, right, there you go. No, I want the leader hose. <laughs> Anna and I have seen it sort of a combined 625 exactly times right. at this point. I Meanwhile, know. Bob Dotson looked frighteningly like Peggy Wood, who plays Mother Superior. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's, That's a very, I He's expect him to man. belt out, climb every mountain any moment now. Anyway. That's a great piece. That look, maybe yeah. we should all go. Yeah. I would love to go. There you go. I'd like to see you later in the evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. When we come back, we're going to meet a couple who found a 12,000-year-old mastodon bone in their backyard. Just to change the subject, <laughs> rather. Anyway, but first, this is today on NBC.